Hi guys and welcome to my video on memory foam pillows. We're going to go through soft and medium and then uh, what the difference is, is we're going to cut in and delve deep and see what secrets they're hiding inside. I've got what I think is a medium and this is a softer one and this is definitely soft, okay? Brand new, because I didn't really like this one here, it's a bit too firm for me. And there's also, it's got a bit of a crease in there. So I'm going to be cutting this open and we can have a look in there once I show you the inside of this one. Now, it's a bit hard to push that down with the plastic on, but it's pretty soft and it's the same sort of softness as this. And this is the one I prefer. Now, some people say these are really flat and they're low down. Now, compare that to my hardish one. And yes, that one is slightly higher. This one, just like this, this has got a, a pillow on it. You can unzip it, it's, so it's cut like a case. Okay, we're going to open it up in a minute. And this one came in a case which would have made it maybe even firmer. But I've actually put the case on my soft one. And this case is the same brand as this, which is Goodnight. So the cover on here is made by Goodnight and underneath is this sort of textured top. Even though that is a cover, it cannot be zipped off. So inside that is this soft stuff which I think is like the one in here. So let's have a look. It's like the one in here. Look at that. This is like, it actually feels like a rubber. It's really strange. Does it, does it do my finger imprint? No, not quite. But that feels a bit, sort of slightly tactile feel to it. Um, let me take it out. Right, I've taken it out. Got memory foam soft on it. And that feels the same as my other soft one, which is this, which has got its own cover on, which you, there is no zip for it. And the make of that is done on one of their own. And that's actually, that's quite nice. It's got a couple of stains on it. A couple of little lumps seem to be building up in there. No big creases. That's pretty good, but on its own, I think that's probably softer than softer than this. Yeah, there's a little fold there. So this is what happens to them over time. They can get folded or something. And I have the cover on that. And this one's already got a cover on and I've shown you the inside. This one is just too firm for me. I don't want to keep it anymore. Now I've got the new one. It's got this crease in it, which is really just nasty when your head's on it. So look, I think we should cut it open. So I'm gonna cut through. There, look. Now that, now this is interesting because I've looked at some of these, like a gel, there's a gel text one out there. A bit expensive, although one of them actually seems a bit cheap on a, a bit of a lower price, about similar to what I paid for the, silent night but the only thing is it's probably similar to this so on the outside this is just like old-fashioned foam like you're getting mattresses and look it's just a uh that's not memory foam surely well it does feel kind of a bit different to foam because it's it's a bit moist and sticky so this is why it's creased because it's this let's pull this off yeah look it's folded over this has kind of got too big, it's expanded and it's too big to fill out, so it ends up overlapping. Now, I wonder if there's anything else in it, because the gel techs, they're basically this microfiber stuff, and inside they've got a gel techs core, which to me isn't anything like this one here, which is totally memory foam. Although I don't know if there's a core inside that, but anyway, I've just got inside this, and I'm down to the back now. And it's yellow foam there. 
the same as what this is. And that's all that's in there, it's just lumps. God, how strange. Well guys, I hope that video is of some use. Please like and subscribe and have a good sleep.